Hello everyone. Welcome to another beautiful day in OJ's Health Kitchen. Do you want to make chin chin? You want to make a healthy, crunchy, delicious chin chin? Then this video is for you. I've got a couple of uh, questions on how I make my chin chin and how it comes out as delicious and crunchy as it tastes. So, I've decided to show you guys the recipe I use today. Every woman deserves to know. So let's jump into the video right away. I'm going to use our normal measurements in Nigeria. This is a mudu of flour. This is all-purpose flour, one mudu of it. I don't use scales, I use mudu. So, maybe in another video, I might use scale to tell you guys watching me from um, other countries so that you can know how you take your measurement. This is one mudu flour. Then this is my melted simas, which is butter. I decided to melt it to make my mixing easy. This is my condensed milk. This is um, uh, 125 ml of sugar. I don't use much sugar in my chin chin because the milk I'm using is already sweet. So in all I do, I try to cut down my processed sugar. So this is just 125 ml of um, sugar for this quantity of chin chin, which is okay. This is my baking powder. I have the measurement taken here already to make it easy. So for my baking powder, I use a teaspoon, not tablespoon, please. So this is your teaspoon. This is it. It's a teaspoon. One teaspoon baking powder. This is baking powder. This is it here. One teaspoon. Then I use a half teaspoon of of salt you have to be very careful with salt guys be very careful then this is my nutmeg i use the same quantity which is about 2.5 mils of nutmeg the same quantity half teaspoon of nutmeg so i use foster clark this is vanilla flavor it gives it a very nice aroma so that these are the ingredients i use i use eggs I use eggs mostly on demand and it's optional but guys that doesn't stop your chin chin from coming out crunchy so let's jump right into the process so always remember to sieve your flour always remember to sieve your flour because sometimes you don't know how long the flour has stayed in the supermarket where you bought it there might be weevils and other things inside, things you don't like. You see that I'm seeing a particle that I wouldn't want it to be in my, my chin chin. So that is why you have to sieve it. See that? You wouldn't want this in your chin. So I always bring out some flour because you can never be too careful in case you need it. Even for your work surface, you need your flour. So I bring out a little. You don't mix everything. And then I create a well in the middle of my floor. This is my sugar. It's gone in. I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together. Please take note of all the steps. My, all my dry ingredients together. And then mix, mix, mix. You see the quantity of my floor is much. And the quantity of the sugar I added it's nothing much but it's still going to come out delicious and crunchy
now i'm going to put in all my wet ingredients this is my vanilla extract i'm going to use i'm going to use one teaspoon of my vanilla extract so you see that this is one teaspoon vanilla extract in there I'm going to do this first my blue band mix in before i bring in my milk oops so at this point i'm going to get my hand messy i have a clean hand already Hygiene is something I don't play with in my kitchen. So at this point, it has to be careful. You have to be careful. Because when you overmix your chin chin, you're not going to get that crunchiness. It's going to, it's going to be strong. So I don't overmix my, my, my dough. If you want to know how we make more things, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like, a comment in the comment section, and even subscribe to the channel so that anytime we bring up a video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. My next video is going to be on how to step down your blood sugar how you control your bp in your house naturally if you want to know how to control your bp please subscribe to the channel so that anytime i upload that video you will know so this is how i mix my chin chin see it has turned into crumbs already the floor has turned into crumbs that's how you get it did I tell you the quantity of the blue band I use is um, 250 grams, 250 grams of um, margarine. Okay, so it's time for my milk already. My milk is mixed with water and it's about 250 mils. This is 250 mils, if you can see it. And guys, these measuring cups are very, very important in your kitchen if you are interested in baking. this point i treat my my dough with carefulness it's my baby right now because if i overdo it it's gonna go bad do you see this now this is how you get your crunchy chinchin Okay, so this is what I have. You can see right there. This is what I have. 
after mixing so i'm just going to cover it and allow it for 45 minutes so as to for all the ingredients to romance together before i come back so with this now i'm going to have it covered with my kitchen towel i'm going to preheat my oven as soon as it's warm enough the way i like i put it off then i put my dough in it for it to simmer together the essence of that is for me to have a warm environment for my dough that's all okay so my oven is as warm as i want it to be right now and i'm putting it off and i'll put my dough So my dough is resting now. I'll see you guys after 45 minutes. When I bring it out, you see how it looks. I welcome you back to the kitchen after 45 minutes of waiting for our dough. This is what we have. If you can see, it's not as flaky as it was when we kept this to to simmer together so our dough is ready to be worked with so if you are wondering what we are doing we are making crunchy delicious chin chin today if this video is helpful to you if you like it in any way please give us a thumbs up a comment in the comment section if there is a better way you do yours please show us we are willing to learn too subscribe to my youtube channel so that you will see more tips in health kitchen oj's health kitchen i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away was not um, watery from the onset you can see that i don't even need to 
to use my floor to work with on the on the surface. But if you mix it too matchy, too soft from the onset, then you have to use a lot of floor trying to make it non-stick as you're working with it on your surface. But since um, I always have my measurements, I don't have to be using much floor on the surface. So you see, it makes the work easier. You spend less time trying to, to flatten it before, before cutting. So that's it. I smooth the edges. I trim the edges rather. I trim the edges like this. My chin chin, the cutting doesn't matter to me. I don't need a perfect cut. All I need is a good taste. I don't need a smooth body. All I need is a good taste. The taste advertises itself. So, there you go. See that? It's not sticking to the surface. It's not sticking to the cutter. Everything just goes smoothly since I got it from the beginning. So, there you go. Just like this. this is how it comes out after my cutting so if you get your mixing right everything will fall into place like this without sticking creating a mess see my hand is not sticky i haven't washed it after cutting this is how you get it if you get your mixing right don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section if there's any better way of doing this and then give us a thumbs up if you like this video. So we are testing the oil to know if it's hot before we put our chin chin. If it's not hot enough, if you put your chin chin inside, it's going to soak oil. So let's note that. There you go. So the oil is ready. You can see the ones we put inside are floating on the oil already. It's a sign that we can bring in more. Fry on medium heat, please. Medium heat. Yeah. So my next video is going to be on how to step down your high blood pressure naturally with natural ingredients in your house so if you have um, high bp and you've been on drugs and you're looking for what to help you step it down please subscribe to the channel so that whenever i put up that video you'll be one of the first to benefit from that video Oh my goodness, this is looking amazing. When we bring it out, you tell me what you see. See that? Can you see that? Can you see that? So we go in with more rounds of deep frying until we are done. Mm. 
so guys we've come to the end of today's video see how gorgeous our chin chin looks it's so beautiful and it tastes amazing see can you guys see that see how it looks so soft you see mm. Mm, mm, mm. can't say no to this chin chin you definitely can't say no to this chin chin please if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel at oj's health kitchen for more tips on how to do this homemade um snacks recipes and all that because if you have children in the house i eat less of these things but since i have children in the house i always make it the joy on their faces when they eat these things keeps me going as a mother as a wife when you see your children eat these things with relish you just don't have a choice but to continue making them so if you want to know how to make snacks different snacks buns chin chin donuts all of them just subscribe to my youtube channel follow me and anytime i put up a new video you'll be one of the first to know like i said earlier the next video is going to be on how to step down your blood level if you have high blood pressure click that subscribe button when i put up the video on how to regulate your blood pressure how to step down your blood pressure you'll be one of the first to know and you will know what to do at a particular time when that bp skyrockets you will know how to step it down even before you get to, to your drugs don't forget to subscribe to this channel and this is oj's health kitchen we love you your health is your wealth bye